Hey guys, it's Brandon Baum here. Today I'm going to be breaking down exactly how I made this. Okay, baby, it's time. I've got your Christmas present for the year. Merry Christmas. Hey. Oh, you got me a bigger present last year. Yeah, but baby, it's a magical teddy. Look, check this out. You just. <laughs> So, to create this V effect, we're gonna need three separate shots. Up first, I filmed the plate with Bailey in front of a green screen. I threw the teddy in front of the camera, and then Bailey and I turned around behind us and reacted as if we were being chased by a big bear. I then threw some clean film onto my monitor, and whilst the bear was in midair, drew around its outline. Next up, after we cleared the green screen, we shot a clean plate with nothing in frame. I then took our eight foot bear, sliced it back open, and had my friend Zach climb in. His job is to make sure he is lining himself up with the screen markings, and then jump straight into the tree. And finally, we are ready to edit. So as always, we're going to start off by opening up Video Leap, hitting the little plus icon and importing all of our footage. We're going to start the process by selecting on our green screen layer and dragging it on top of our main bear layer. We're then going to use the chroma tool to select on a clean section of green and it's going to key it all out. Now that we can see both shots at the same time, we're going to want to synchronize them so both bears form at the same time. So I'm just going to slide backwards to the point the bear in the background jumps. Then I'm just going to drag backwards on our top layer to try and find the point the two teddies cross over. Perfect, now let's test it by hitting play and making sure both teddies fall at the same time. Great, now I am super happy with that. Now we can see we still got the little teddy in shot. To remove this, we're going to start by hitting on the opacity and dragging this all the way down to zero, just for now. We're then going to find the last frame where our teddy's in shot, then making sure we've still got that top layer selected, press on mask and create a rectangular mask. We're just going to create a small mask going just around the teddy. Then with one finger, we're just going to select on the top of the mask and just feather it out very slightly. We then want to hit back on the opacity tab and drag this up to 100%. And we can see now this has removed our teddy bear. So now we're happy with the look for one frame, we're going to select on the keyframe button and we're going to drag backwards to the point where we want the teddy bear to first disappear. For me, I think this is around here. So I'm going to select on that mask, drag it up and we're going to cover up that small teddy. We're then going to go to the point between our two keyframes and make sure our teddy is staying in between the box. If it's not, we're just going to readjust it slightly to make sure he's staying perfectly inside. Great, now our teddy stays within the box the entire time. The next thing we're going to want to do is slide across, hit split on our first keyframe, and then split on our last keyframe. Then we're going to want to delete these two new clips. This should now just leave us with the clip that we animated on. Perfect, now this is looking great, but I do see a problem. There are a few frames where Bailey's getting completely covered up. To fix this, we're going to select on our green screen layer, hit duplicate, slide across to arrange, and slide this to the very top. We're then going to try and find a frame where Bailey isn't being covered up, slide across to freeze, to freeze the layer. We're then just going to delete that clip it's made before it, and then drag our frozen layer all the way back. Select mask, and create a rectangular mask around Bailey. So after a lot of fine tuning, I think I'm happy with how that looks. Because there's only a couple of frames we needed to cover up, I'm gonna slide forward two frames, hit split, remove that first layer, then slide backwards, hit split again, and remove that last layer. Perfect, now we are almost there. We've transitioned our small teddy into the big teddy. We now need to sort the beginning of the clip out. And whilst me and Bailey are talking, you can see the big teddy in the background. We're gonna find the point where we want the big teddy in shot for the first time, select on the layer, and hit split. Then we're gonna zoom out on our timeline and select on our clean plate. We then wanna drag our clean plate between these two layers, sandwiching it between them. Then on my toolbar, I'm gonna to slide across to arrange and make sure it's on number one. And this now shows the plain green screen between me and Bailey. I'm just gonna trim this clip at the point we made the split, and finally, we have this. Okay, Bailey, it's time. I've got your Christmas present for the year. Merry Christmas. Hey. Oh, you got me a bigger present last year. Yeah, but Bailey, it's a magical teddy. Look, check this out. You just... Now, that tutorial proves your creativity is limitless inside of Video Leap. I want to see you guys at home recreating that VFX, upload your versions to TikTok and Instagram using hashtag Video Leap Challenge, and then making sure to at myself, Brandon underscore Bam. As always, I'll be taking a bunch of my favorites and throwing them to my stories. So guys, good luck.